and I'm delighted now to introduce another very well-known local businessman, Chris Higgins. You are the founder, you own, you run the Las Vegas amusement park arcade machines here on the seafront in Blackpool. That's correct. And not forgetting the one, the famous, I've seen on TV, one pound burger as well. The one pound the burger. The one pound burger only in Blackpool. But I have got some breaking news, which I've been told I'm allowed to tell you now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm a little bit late because Boris is here. You just met the Prime Minister. I've just met so, the Prime Minister. That's why I'm a little bit late. You know what? This is how it works. Downing Street, the press operation, they saw GB News was coming to Blackpool. They thought those GB News people were there pretty Absolutely. canny. They got their finger on the pulse. We'd better go to Blackpool too. Correct. So I didn't know until last night myself, and then obviously I had to speak to your director. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I had to be a little bit coy about it. So I've just met the Prime Minister, and he's up here, obviously talking about the new conference coming to Blackpool, because yeah. they've not been here for 15 years, but more importantly, talking about the levelling up programme, which is obviously on everybody's mind at the moment. So what do you think, Chris? You're a proud uh, member of the local community here. You've made your business in Blackpool. You're doing your best to increase Blackpool's reputation, return to the iconic seaside resort status that it's had for so many years, reflected in this astonishing world-class hotel, this wonderful imperial bar that we're in now. Do you think levelling up, having just talked to the Prime Minister, is more than just a slogan. Absolutely. Well, the Prime Minister's about to start is his actions there are coming to Blackpool, bringing the conference back to Blackpool. We've been, we've been away for 15 years now. Yeah. It was David Cameron's time. That's right. When we were in the, the last wilderness. time the Conservatives had their party conference we here in, in Blackpool. Power. We were yeah. in the power at the time. Yeah. So just bringing that here straight away up to the status, it brings all the media coverages and it shows that we're a world class resort. Because what's happening is, unfortunately, for years there's been no uh, investment in the infrastructure. For decades and yeah. decades, the investment in the infrastructure has gone down. But as late, the, the, the government have been throwing a lot of money at Blackpool, which has allowed them to give all the conference facilities, the hotels and the basic infrastructure that we need in Blackpool. So this is just building on the foundations that the government have already started. So I think it's a fantastic idea. Now, just before you and I go off air and walk arm in arm along the seafront and grab one of your one-pound burgers... Uh, as I also get some fish and chips from uh, David Bentley. Let me ask you this. To what extent do you think the media now gets it when it comes to levelling up? To what extent do you think these slogans that we're hearing are going to translate, in the end, into genuine help for towns like this, not just in the northwest, but across the UK. Yeah, the message is getting out there. Obviously, with what's been happening lately, there's a bit of background noise. But levelling up is about a long-term agenda. You're always going to have background noise. This has happened, that's happened, etc., etc., which is going to cloud the judgment. But this is a long-term strategy. This isn't going to happen tomorrow, next week. This is a long-term infrastructure. You know, uh, uh, major broadband. You can't do it overnight. Absolutely. But you've can't. got to start soon. You've got to start soon. So yes, we're going to talk about Boris has upset here upset that yet, but this, his agenda is pushing it forward. He went on a foundation of levelling the country up. Let me ask you this. Yesterday we were in Burnley, another proud Lancashire town, which I'm sure you know. Mm -hmm. I spoke to a very interesting lady called Carol Johnson. She owns the Smithson Caravan Park, and Carol told me that because of the pandemic, because more people were staying at home for holidays, not getting on a plane to go to Marbella or, or, or Portugal or whatever, she feels that more people are now going to holiday in the UK as a permanent thing. Of course, if that was true, that would be great for your business of arcades here in Blackpool for this town as a whole. Do you think that, it will happen? That's already happened. Because if you look at... But post do you think it will become permanent? I believe it is. Post-pandemic, Blackpool attracted 19 million visitors. Yeah. And uh, in the uh, last year, due to the pandemic, we increased it to 21 million visitors. Wow. They're facts. Yeah. They're out there. Yeah. I actually checked up on this before I came here, and we're building on that. Now people have actually had a year away from going abroad and seeing what the fantastic British economy can yeah. give to them and the seaside resort it's easier, the less Park. hassle. Absolutely. It was Back in Spain on the beach. Absolutely. One pound burgers. One pound burgers. You can't beat some traditional family values. And this is what we are. We're a family value resort. And people have started to taste that again now. And I think we're just going to build up on that. And obviously, alongside the level up, which is going to be uh, predominantly uh, deprived towns and seaside resorts, that's also going to help as well. So I can see a really good future for Blackpool.
and the tourist economy. Finally, Chris, I have to ask you, there's a bit of a political question. A lot of the, the media down in Westminster, they're still talking a lot about Downing Street drinks, parties, the Prime Minister's birthday cake and all the rest of it. These are important issues. They've obviously upset a lot of people who sacrificed during lockdown, not going to funerals, postponing weddings, not seeing dying relatives and all the rest of it. To what extent do you think those issues really land in a place like Blackpool locally? Or to what extent do you think people are more focused on the cost of living? OK, well, I, I, I've actually feet on the ground, because obviously I'm a Conservative member, so I go out with Scott, who's our local MP, and the rest of the South Shore team, and we actually go around knocking doors and we talk to people. So and, and most people, yes, they're a little bit annoyed and all this lot, but a lot of it is media hype. They believe in Boris. Now, Blackpool is a town that are predominantly voted for Brexit to leave yeah. the European Union. Yeah. Now, that's a big... Now, but, uh, Boris delivered Brexit when everybody said that he would have delivered Brexit. Boris delivered the best vaccination programme in the whole of the Europe, which people said he would never do. So Boris is doing his job. He's doing the daytime job. There's always going to be background noise. If you look since the beginning of the NHS, which was in the 40s at some point, every year it's in newspapers, the NHS is in crisis, the NHS is in crisis. Every year, there's background noise. Boris has looked to turn that tide and to look for the future. Chris, you are a Conservative member. You I are am. also a distinguished local businessman, inventor of the One Pound Burger. Thank you so much for coming in. I guess we'll see what happens in the local elections in May. So that was On The Money from the Imperial Bar here in Blackpool, the iconic Lancashire seaside resort.